In the Constitution, the Founding Fathers knew that they needed to have equal representation across the states. And so that was why they mandated that a decennial census be done every 10 years to make sure that the population was counted accurately and representation was fair. The decennial census is important not just for representation, but also for the allocation of uh, federal dollars. Each year, nearly $900 billion uh, federal spending is allocated based on formulas from the census. We've been innovating on a number of fronts that I think will make the 2020 census um, both easier for the public to participate in, but also more accurate and more efficient from the Census Bureau's perspective. This is the first census to go online, um, and you know, not only online for people to self-respond, but online for, for our folks out uh, walking the country. We've been using the Response Outreach Area Map to target communities that, that have much higher proportion of hard-to-count households. And in our BARCA tool or in-office address canvassing where we no longer have to put as many people out on the street. We use all the modern tools of geographic information systems. We need a solid frame of information that is reliable that we can then connect these different pieces of data and, and geography is one of the best ways to do that. The Census Bureau tries to make sure that, that when we produce statistical information that, that it's valuable to as many users as, as possible. Not all users are going to be able to consume data and tables and, and you know do complex analysis on it. So visualizations like maps is a great way to provide complex information in a, in a condensed, easy to visualize format. Every data collection that the Census Bureau does of both households and businesses is done with on a pledge of confidentiality. We don't share that information with, with other government agencies or, or with the private sector in any form that can identify an individual person or business. We take that, that oath very seriously at the Census Bureau and it's what actually gives us high quality survey and census data with which to do our jobs. Census data is, is used every day by by companies across the country and, and, and looking at consumer trends and, and where to locate, used by academics, um, by state and local uh, policymakers, by planners. It's a big job to make sure that all of those users are getting adequately served um, by our data. Mm -hmm.